Hello everybody, welcome to the TriStar Gym channel. Today we have the return of the Fox. I gotta stay close to him because he's got the mic and I only have one mic today. Today, Fox, you're back. It's been what, two years? Almost two years. January's gonna years. be two years. And COVID, it didn't kill any of us, did it? Knock on wood. <laughs> we slipped our way, we slid our way through the cracks, guys. We're here today, first episode in two years. What are we covering today? Well, you want to talk about arm triangles, arm defenses. Triangles. You know, I hate arm triangles because every time I shoot, I have this lingering thought in my mind, I might get arm triangles. I, 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 I hate that thought. I have a really good arm triangle, so if... <laughs> <laughs> a lot, a lot of times when I, once I lock it up, I, you know, uh, we'll see. I have yet... Uh, once I lock it up fully where my okay. forearm is flush with the floor, it's hard Let, to escape. Let's talk about arm triangles and arm triangle escapes. Stay tuned. Let's check it out. All where, right. Where are we at? So... I use the arm triangle from, I, I set it up from a lot of different ways. Um, I'm gonna, usually I just show it once I'm already in the position. But uh, a lot of times I use it from um, hunting for back control because if, if guys stop you from choking them from the back, they give you an arm triangle. Really? Yes. Yeah, that. that happens to me all the time. So a lot of times I pass the guard, you know, I'm fighting to get the gift wrap and I finally get the gift wrap. Okay. Okay. What I'll do is, is I'll slide my knee and I'm hunting for the quick, quick question. Yeah. What do you call this now? You, we used to call it fat mount now 20 years ago. I was like, <laughs> used to call it fat mount. It's, it's a bit of a variation on an it? S mount. Uh, it's, it's a sort of an S mount variation, but I like to, because usually people are so deathly afraid of getting out of the mount. But right now I'm very strong control. If, if I, let's, let's rotate, let's rotate. So if I wind up, full, you know, going going off, mm. I will almost always get the top. Here I'm in a triangle. Yeah. Here I'm not. Yeah, but I can either, I can triangle here too. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, normally we try to triangle pretty under under the arm. I really don't care. I'll lock it whichever way because now I'm controlling you. I attack the arm. But let's stay on on the arm triangle topic. So if I get to that position, and this is this is also very very common from. You know, in MMA, a lot of people would mount and start teeing off. So when I, when I get here and I'm, you know, kind of, let's call it a variation of S mount or <laughs> fat mount. So now you feel good about your back, right? You're not being threatened by your back. Well, I'm uh -oh. not happy here, but I mean, yeah, my back, I'm more worried about my arm and neck here. So this is the mistake that people make. They just dive their arm mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. So I'm going to just do it real slow, just how most people do it, and try to escape. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to do it my way, try to escape. <laughs> yeah, I can't turn away. Yeah. That's tight. That's really tight. Yeah. Can I try that? Yeah, yeah. Can I try that? So you're hooking the head. And you could do it from mount, mounted position. Here, like this. I got the gift wrap. Yeah. Be careful here for it, Mike. And now so, so, you're saying you're saying so the you're guy, clipping the head here. Yeah. There's a clip of the head. Yeah. And I pass the head. Yeah. So I'm just I'm just being. So really basically, I'm I'm trying to keep my you know because I know you're trying to take my back. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, run. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So control. Yes. Like this. Yeah. And this is how is it stopping you from rolling it this way? Which way? To your right. I need my head. Mm -hmm. so I, I, I need my head. Uh -huh. I need to move my okay, head. I'm cross facing you. Basically. So it's basically you you got both arms. Sort of I'm cross-facing, basically. Yeah, almost. You don't have to lift up that high, but it's just, yeah, just kind of keep it. So if I try to move this way, yeah, my head is immobile, so my body can't really follow that much. Mm. Yeah, I'm just thrashing about. Mm, I love it. Guys, I'm telling you, it makes such a huge difference when he flips the head. Can you do it to me again? I just want to see why I can't turn. Yeah, it. let's, like, let's. It stops me from being able to turn yeah. the. We can do it from, uh, so even if I'm, say, I'm mounted and, you know, just, you know, in MMA, guys are teeing off. Uh huh. See right here. So. Just rotate a little bit. Yeah. Right. Can you release this stuff? Yeah. No, I can bridge. Yeah. My hips are you can you can move. You can move. Power. You can go back the other way and retract. Now you go. So yeah, to retract your arm. Out. Yeah. Here, it's like my neck is bent. Yeah. Yeah. You really can't. It's very strong control. I love it. Yeah. I've never seen that before. I love. You know, they say if you control the head, you control the whole body. Yeah. Strong detail. I'm a big detail. fan of head and arm control, but that's that's one of the mistakes. Even guys that are really good elite black belts, they just when they get to threaten the back and the guy defends the back by putting their back to the floor, mm -hmm. they immediately get, they're giving him arm triangle. But people lose it a lot of times because they all they do is focus on jamming that choking hand 
in and locking up. And the guy knows that. As long as he can go one way or another, he can retract that arm. And now he's still in a bad position, but uh, he can escape. With this, it's very hard to escape. It's extremely difficult. When he has your neck like this, I don't feel like I can move my legs. For some reason, it's interfering with me generating power with my legs. Yeah. I can't explode. Because your, your head is kind of stationary, so you could kind of thrash your body left and right, but your head is stationary. Can I ask you, your finish, feel, I'm telling you, you guys got to feel this. I wish you guys could feel this finish. <laughs> is it because you have a super long arm? No. Or is it mechanical? Is my, it's mechanical. Because my it's mechanical. ain't that tight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes it takes me, like, I don't know, a minute, two minutes to finish a katakatami. Him, I feel like in three seconds I want to tap. And I'm like, you know, I, I'm, I'm used to being choked like this, but it's really tight the way you do it. It's incredible. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, guys, this is, by the way, this is Firas TriStar Special. I, I don't typically disclose these kind of little <laughs> details to, to everyone, but uh, uh, it's, um, when you, when I go in, most people, when they try to choke, they focus sort of their, the, the power, the energy is focused in the forearms and the hands. So they try to squeeze here. I don't try to squeeze so much. I focus on that shoulder forward. We've talked about it in guillotines, you know, arm triangles, the sh uh, shoulder forward is an extremely important sort of mechanism to, 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 to choke. So I, again, people tend to focus like trying to power through it. And if you're strong enough, you will get it. But if you don't have the strongest arms in the, in the world, that shoulder forward, first of all, it's got more durability. So it's, you, don't, you don't burn out as you quickly. Can do it and, uh, I can do it. And, and I've had, I've tried this at a seminar. Uh, one of the guys, I always try to pick the biggest guy in the room. So once I lock it up and it's like, go, you know, mm. go out, try to escape. You know, this guy was a power lifter and, and they can't. And even though the guy probably had at least 50, 70 pounds on me, plus way stronger, they can't. Again, I focus on, on the shoulder. So first, initially I focus on control, control. the head. So again, you could set it up from the S mount or you can set it up again, just, just straight mount. So as, as the guy, you know, like I'm here and you know, in, 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 in MMA, yeah. See a little more. So first I, I control the head. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Once, this is huge. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is big. A lot of people don't do it, even like elite black belts. I've never seen that before. Now I connect my hands mm -hmm. and now I just drop. So even tuck your chin in for us, please. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times in MMA, I probably wouldn't get off. In BJJ, I will. And as I'm dropping down, this locks in. And I have almost no power in my hands. So it, it's, it's, it's the shoulder, yeah. And he's not even squeezing. No, I'm not squeezing that hard. How the hell are you applying so much power? <laughs> <laughs> so, again. so again, just feel, feel my shoulder. So yeah, even I'm going to bury my face here a little. Yeah, yeah. So when I usually, when I get off, so if I'm mounted, I just get off. I just get my shoulder as far as it goes. Once I drop in, oh, you, was that a tap? No, no, no. no. Okay. Pressure yeah. I feel like you haven't squeezed yet. No, I don't. Wow. There's not a lot of squeeze. It's the shoulder forward. That's the, that's where the power comes dude, from. Dude, yeah, he's being super gentle, but I'm telling you, guys, I don't know if my face is wet or not, but I'm getting choked out. Right to bury my face. Yeah, you can answer the phone. It, it just doesn't, it doesn't matter. And I'm not squeezing that hard. It's, it's purely the mechanics of it. Okay, yeah, yeah, no problem. You want me to do it, for, if, if I'm mounted, it's going to be a little bit weaker than if I'm on the side. Which, which way do you want? Uh, do it on the side. Let's okay, see. do it on the side. I'm going to try to hulk out here. I'm going to go hulk. hulk. Yeah. Uh, that's, man, that's crazy. Yeah, you, you, could man, give me, <laughs> you could give me the biggest guy here. Dude, <laughs> it's, like, okay, so what is it? It's the shoulder and the neck? Yeah. It's, it's, you, I, when I roll the shoulder forward, I'm rolling it on your karate. That's it. Here. What about the other side? What's closing the other side? Uh, you know, there's, there's enough pressure for my head and your own arm. It doesn't have to be clean on the karate, but that's, it's enough. There's a little, so maybe there's a little bit of constriction here. Let's, I, don't, I don't know exactly the percentage what it is, but you don't need 100% constriction on both karate. But even the telephone guys, I know they get, a lot of you guys are like, oh, coach, do 
but I'm full colorful hands. Yeah. I, uh, tell me when you feel good, right. like however you want to say. Go. go. And I'm not even squeezing that hard. Dude, the telephone ain't gonna work. And let me tell you something. I hate when people do the telephone because I have to work so much harder to get the choke. It doesn't even help at all. Like, no. If I had it on or not, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like it's protecting me at all. No. <laughs> I usually tell my guys, it's like, what, what are they saying? What does the telephone say? You're going to tap? <laughs> What's that person on the line saying? You're going to tap? It's over. <laughs> wow, that's incredible, man. Honestly, like, that's weird. I still don't understand how you're applying so much pressure. Though. It's, it's truly, you know, like a lot of my game, you know, I, I try to figure out the most efficient way to finish somebody. If I'm in a position to submit them, I figure out the most efficient way. And when I say by most efficient, I mean the quickest and, and uh, sort of uh, uh, easiest on, on you know, the least amount of strength uh, on my part. I do the same thing with triangles. Like when I triangle people, I don't I let them bury the arm. I really don't care where they put that arm that's caught in the triangle. Once I'm, again, once I have the angle, it's, it's over. Um, man, I, I got to... I gotta really figure that out because you know I get there all the time, but I don't finish like this. I don't, I don't even get close to that much pressure. I work so hard. To try like <laughs> no, what? This is uh, one of the things. I'm actually I have a really good black belt, uh, and uh, he's really good at getting to people's backs. But uh, we've been working on this with him because I think he's starting to incorporate this this into the game. Because I, I'm a fan of. I don't want to fight the guy head on. I want to kind of almost outmaneuver him, out chess him. Of course. And uh, a lot of times when, the, you know, when I hunt for the back, the guy will literally give me the arm triangle. All I got to do is see it. A lot of people make the mistake. They don't go for it or they go for it and they lose it. They don't go for it because they know they're going to lose it. Once I'm there, once I'm locked up, when my forearm is flush with the floor, I, it's... Forearm is on the floor. Forearm is on the floor. Forearm is on Sorry. the floor. So, so if, I'm, if I'm shallow, I want my forearm on the floor, so... You know what, just, just you doing this, I feel like it's sliding your shoulder in the Yeah. Head. That could be a huge uh, yeah. missing link in my, because my, I just go without pulling the head. Can no. You just go without pulling the yeah. head? Yeah. It's, it's going to suck. It's, it's, I, I, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, you're going to defend. I, already, I really feel a lot better right now. Yeah, but go ahead. Go, go back to where you felt better. So it's an easy adjustment. So, you know, do you try to uh, escape from here? Go ahead. So even, even though you kind of set up your defenses, if I use that head control, it literally, it's, it's almost like nothing, but it makes a massive difference in your submission rate. And, and sometimes uh, an inch is a mile in fighting. And that was like two millimeters when I felt like two miles. Like just that adjustment, yeah. all of a sudden I felt Suddenly like kicks in. telephone block was e Even though there, there's gaps there, you know, still works. Wow. Guys, make sure to check this out, try it out.